Hi, I'm Claude from Wilderness Skills. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the new backpack I'm wearing. It's the Reindeer 55 from the Polish company V-Sport. The um, backpack weighs 2,050 grams. Um, it's made of a uh, thousand denier Kodura. Uh, it has uh, one uh, large main pocket, which can be divided into uh, two pockets right here. Then it has uh, two uh, detachable side pockets, and then it has uh, a pocket on the outside of the lid and one inside uh, of the lid. And underneath the, uh, the two detachable side pockets, there is an extra pocket uh, secured by a uh, bungee cord. The dimension of the uh, backpack is uh, 60 centimeters high, 34 centimeters on the, the widest place, and 26 centimeters in depth. If we start here on the top, you can see we have two uh, straps for gear. This is my uh, Corinthia Explore 2 Plus uh, beaver bag. These uh, straps are, can be quite long, actually, as you can see. Also further on the top, we have uh, two uh, small D-rings where you can uh, attach uh, additional gear. Here we have a pocket. This is just my uh, Life Venture silk sleeper. Roomy pockets, as you can see. Inside the lid, we have an additional pocket. As you can see here, there is this, uh, this small flap here, attached by Velcro to the lid. This way you're actually able to lift the lid using this or loosening the three straps here on the back. Like this. And then you can lift off uh, the lid. Or you can take the lid uh, completely off if you want this. By doing this you actually expand the volume by 10 to 12 liters uh, and also uh, using uh, this, uh, this cover here. The, uh, the storm flap on, on top here. Quite nice. When I'm looking uh, on a backpack um, and checking the quality. I'm always looking at the zippers, the buckles and the material it's made of. These buckles here are made from uh, ITW Nexus uh, Duraflex uh, type and um, well they have the right sound when you, uh, when you press them together. I really like the sound. Not like uh, some other bags where it's like a little bit more springy sound. This is the for me, the correct uh, click sound. Let's continue down here on the front. We have uh, two compression straps. Again, with the uh, good and uh, durable uh, ITW uh, buckles. You can uh, expand uh, the webbing here, uh, and then you'll be able to, to put some stuff in here. Uh, it's not much, but uh, it's possible. Then you have uh, three rows of uh, pouch webbing where you can attach uh, mallet compatible uh, pouches. Going uh, further down, we have the uh, bottom pocket um, dividing up the, uh, the main pocket here. Again, uh, we have a couple of compression straps and they have a really long piece of uh, webbing. Uh, so you can actually expand them quite big. And yeah, you can easily see that you can uh, 
fit the Explorer 2 um, bivy sack in here um, or some other stuff. With these long uh, compression straps you can actually adjust them so uh, if you want gear hanging from the bottom of your backpack that's also possible by using it uh, down here. Lastly you have uh, two additional uh, pieces of webbing here to attach uh, gear to. The uh, zippers uh, on the bottom pocket is, uh, is uh, quite good. Uh, they run smoothly and I had no problems with them at all while using this uh, both uh, here in Denmark but also in, in, out in the States. Um, I would maybe prefer a number larger zipper. Um, I'm not sure if this can hold up when I pack this uh, backpack to the gills um, and after a lot of hard use but uh, so far they held up um, but I, will, I would prefer it a little bit uh, bigger zipper. As you can see there's a couple of strings attached to them, there are two ways, um, really easy to get a hold of uh, when you're wearing gloves and also uh, covering the whole zippered area is uh, this uh, storm flap with a elastic band so that will always cover the, uh, the zipper and that is really nice. Going here on the side, um, again you have two uh, compression straps going over the two detachable pockets. Again, a huge amount of webbing. Um, there's room for tent, um, even a sleeping bag if you take off the, uh, the side pockets. Really, really huge um, or really long uh, pieces of webbing here. So there's uh, two of them, one on the top and uh, one here on the bottom. The two uh, side pockets are identical. They have a little bit uh, smaller buckle, but still the good sound and the good quality. Again uh, it's secured by a stone flap with a piece of string. In uh, this side I have a uh, one of the uh, dead uh, boil uh, isobutane fuel at uh, 230 grams and underneath that I have my uh, jet boil minimo and if you've seen uh, my other videos you know that the the diameter of the Minimo is uh, larger than on like Jetball Zip or Jetball Flash, but it still uh, fits really nice in here. You can uh, take off the, uh, the side pockets by using these uh, small uh, plastic uh, clamps here. Quite easy. One of the possible downsides uh, with this backpack is the uh, quality of these uh, small buckles here. They are quite thin um, and I'm not sure how well uh, they will hold up uh, if I stuff both this and the, uh, the backpack itself to the gills or if I get stuck on a tree or something. Um, I have a suspicion that these, uh, these can break quite easily. Um, and again, uh, they are fastened on this really, really tiny piece of, uh, of webbing, so it's not so easy to just take a new, another one and put it in here. You might be able to take a carabiner or a uh, Grimlock or something to put that on. But I would have preferred that um, um, WeSport had used Grimlocks uh, on the first time. Um, that would be much easier. Um, but um, time will tell if they, if they break. Again, it's, uh, I think it's a really good idea that you can take off uh, the two uh, side pockets. They'll, that will give you a, a more streamlined uh, uh, backpack. And uh, if you have uh, other uh, side pockets, you can put them on if they have the, the, uh, the right uh, distance uh, between the, uh, the two uh, pieces of webbing here. And here you can see the, uh, the smaller side pocket. And there's actually room for a, uh, a one liter Nalgene bottle in, in these ones here. And talking about the uh, Nalgene bottles here on the other side, I actually have two uh, Nalgene bottles in here so you can see uh, how much room there is in it. Well, 
Let's look in the, uh, in the main compartment, what that can hold. I just uh, thrown in a lot of things, um, so uh, just to give you an idea how, uh, how much can be here. I have my uh, survival kit, and then I have a number of these uh, Eagle Creek uh, packing cubes. I really like them, it really makes things easy to find and, uh, and organize in your pack. Got a couple of those packed to the gills, the quarter cubes, and I got a number of uh, half cubes. Three of those, and a couple of the full-size cubes. Also packed to the gills. That's the the top part of the uh, main compartment. In the bottom part. I even had room for my sleeping bag from Corinthia. This is the uh, Tropen. So um, the Reindeer 55 really packs a lot. Um, I really like it. Um, lots of room. And when uh, looking here, you can see the, uh, the divider, which you then can just open totally. And then uh, you can have all your kit in the big uh, main compartment. Um, personally, I like uh, that you can divide off the uh, the main compartment, so you don't have to go need to take all uh, your stuff out to get some uh, little uh, item in the bottom. But this way, you can access your your gear from the bottom. I really like this. This uh, brings us. Uh, to the back side, where we have the uh, sus suspension system. This is the military version, uh, so there's uh, two um, um, adjustable uh, aluminium stays. Uh, there is uh, what they call the uh, FAS Plus. It is the full adjustable uh, system uh, with air nets. Um, and what they mean with full adjustable is fully adjustable. The uh, shoulder straps they can move all the way up from here, all the way down to here. And you can adjust this like so it fits you perfectly. And then you just tighten these uh, two uh, webbing straps down here. And this brings me to the next uh, piece of uh, criticism for the backpack. Uh, these uh, straps here, you cannot uh, secure them. So what I actually experienced uh, walking with this for a couple of days was that uh, when I took the backpack off, put it on, took it off, put it on, after a couple of times the, uh, the straps here, they got loose and actually the, uh, the shoulder straps, they just worked themselves up. Um, and I think uh, you could either put a piece of uh, Velcro or um, something else to secure these straps, uh, which will prevent the, uh, the shoulder straps uh, in uh, moving further and further up. Um, I think the system is, uh, is really, really good um, and it's so easy to adjust the backpack so it fits you perfectly. Uh, so this is just a small detail uh, that I think the company should uh, think uh, about um, changing on uh, further models of, of uh, this, uh, this carrying system. The, uh, the back here uh, is uh, covered um, with a uh, foam. Uh, type of uh, padding uh, which is uh, uh, water repellent um, and there is a, a mesh uh, on both the back side and on the shoulder straps uh, and also down here on the on the hip belt but uh, looking here on the shoulder straps uh, let's take this one here um, you can uh, tighten or loosen uh, this uh, piece of webbing here so you can move the uh, the backpack uh, closer or further away from your body uh, as you like and there is a small uh, plastic uh, thing here which will uh, hold the, uh, the webbing in place. Continuing down uh, on, the, on the strap, uh, the webbing has a couple of uh, loops here where you can put on um, carabiners or stuff and a D-ring on, on uh, each side. And then you have a uh, chest strap 
which uh, is uh, removable. Again, we have a really, really long uh, piece of webbing here. Uh, again, this is the military resin, so if you're carrying Kevlar, uh, there is no problem uh, using the, the chest strap um, or the backpack uh, um, outside uh, the, the Kevlar. And then down here we have uh, the last buckle where you can adjust the tension of the, the shoulder straps. And it's uh, fastened uh, down here. That brings us down here to the uh, removable um, hip belt. Really uh, nice uh, buckles here. And uh, these uh, buckles you can adjust. You can either pull both of the uh, piece of webbing or just one. So you can move the buckle uh, either to one side or have it uh, in the middle, uh, depending on uh, what you prefer. The, uh, the belt itself is, uh, is uh, fastened by a Velcro, so um, it's just a matter of uh, just uh, pulling it out um, and then go without the, uh, the belt if you prefer that. Um, I'm sorry that the, uh, the, the straps here, um, they can't be fastened. Uh, that, is, uh, that is one of the major points uh, I have with the backpack. Another negative point uh, about the backpack is uh, there is no sleeve for a drinking system. There is no uh, exit port for a drinking system. And I think a military type backpack in this size has to have um, a sleeve for a drinking system and exit ports for a drinking system. Um, what I did uh, when I used this, uh, I just took a piece of uh, 550 cord uh, and attached this to, um, to uh, one of the, uh, the pieces of webbing here in the back and then fit it through the, uh, the, um, the velcro here on, on the lid so I can hang my drinking system inside the, the main pocket. Um, it's not optimal, but hey. I'll just uh, pack the Reindeer 55 again uh, and then uh, I'll just uh, come with my uh, finishing uh, thoughts about this, uh, this backpack. So, pack the end. Um, when looking on, on, uh, on this backpack, uh, you might think, wow, that's a lot of straps, a lot of buckles. Straps are long, you know. What use are they to me? Well, my opinion is, if they're of no use to you, there is nobody who prevents you from cutting them off. Myself, personally, I really like a lot of straps a lot of buckles, uh, long straps, because this means that I can adjust, I can optimize, and I can uh, have the pack look exactly like I want. And there is actually a meaning with all the madness here. Um, looking on some of the other packs from Wii Sport, um, like this uh, Sparrow 20, you can see again, the compression straps are really long. And this actually means that you can put on one of the smaller packs as a small leech on the outside of the bigger packs. By using the, the really long compression straps. Like this. So now I have a uh, go bag, or if I'm a gentleman carrying my wife's uh, backpack, attached to the outside of my main pack. That's brilliant. Um, and this is uh, something that uh, we spot they uh, they perfect. Um, I really like this uh, this concept here. Finishing uh, thoughts uh, about the Reindeer 55 from Wii Sport. It is really nice to wear. Um, the straps, uh, shoulder straps, hip belt, they fit me perfectly. Um, the adjustment system here in the back is perfect. 
Um, again, um, you need to be aware of uh, that you don't have uh, any means of securing it. So you might e either sew them together or put on uh, some Velcro yourself. Um, the, uh, the other drawback, as I told you, no uh, drinking system, uh, exit port. So you have to figure something out for yourself. It's not that hard, but uh, I think that's uh, one of the main drawbacks. I really like all the ways that I can adjust uh, and um, optimize my system here. Uh, and I like the dividing of, of the main compartment and the detachable uh, pockets here. Uh, I'll maybe in the future, uh, probably I'll, um, I'll um, change out the, the small bottles here with uh, Grimlocks. I've been using this uh, both here in Denmark, but also uh, in the States, in Arizona, hiking a lot. Um, and it has never failed me. So I can, uh, with no uh, doubt at all, give my best recommendations uh, for anyone who wants to have a good backpack. Choose a product from uh, WeSport. Uh, they're really well made, they're cheap, um, and uh, they're really effective when you compare the, uh, uh, the same type of, of backpacks in the same price range. Um, they have a lot of functions. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.